We're living in a rad time of freedom. I'm talking about this is a fucking awesome time to be alive on the earth. And I'm stoked to be here talking to you today. So thankful for you, each and every single one of you who are watching this right now. I'm thankful for you. And I fully realize that most people are whining and bitching about the freedoms that we're having taken away. We're whining and bitching about being censored, about being told what to think, how to think, what to do, how to do. We got to wear a mask. Don't have to wear a mask. You can't go into a store like this. You got to, I mean, my God, it goes on and on. But while all this whining and bitching is going on about our supposed outside exterior freedoms being taken away, there is a beautiful uh, revolution of inner freedom that is taking off. I'm talking people are coming alive in the truth of who they really are. People are awakening more than ever to the reality of an inner freedom that cannot be taken away by a government, by the police, cannot be taken away by a parent or a sibling, cannot be taken away by death. This inner freedom is ultimate reality. And people are really beginning to wake up to this thing, man. It's so rad. He whom the sun sets free is free indeed. The sun, in this case, the Bible is talking about Jesus. And the Bible could have been talking also about the Buddha, or it could have been talking about many others. But the sun can talk about you. The sun is you. The sun is me. He whom the sun, the one who realizes who they are, sets free, is free. In other words, they're 100% absolutely unyoked um, from the slavery that can be forced upon them by another, by a political system, a government, or anything else. Now, yeah, that's rad, man. Silas, that's awesome, you might be thinking. But what in the world are we going to do about the other? Here's the thing. Wherever your focus goes, your energy flows. And so if you focus on not being free, what you're going to do is you're giving energy to not being free. But if you focus on your freedom, then you're giving energy to being free. When you give your energy, when you focus on freedom and you give energy to being free, now what's end up happening is you actually begin to shape and shift the exterior world around you. But it starts because you're more aware of the inner freedom. See, if you're only aware of what's going on outside of you, it's probably because you're also aware of the inner slavery. And what I mean is your mindset has been so conditioned to be irritated, to be aggravated, to look outside of you for truth in this whole time. What really is true has been going on inside of you so invest your energy in what you want don't invest your energy in what you don't want believe only what you want to manifest i don't make any room inside of my mind or in my heart or in this body for things that i don't want to manifest if you want to manifest health, then you don't make room for sickness. If you want to manifest wealth, then you don't make room for poverty. If you want to make room, if you want to manifest freedom, then don't make room for slavery. Don't, don't make room for bondage. Don't invest your thinking in negativity, but invest all of your thought in what is positive. Whatever things be true, whatever things be lovely, whatever things be good, if there's anything of virtue or anything praiseworthy, meditate on such things. Philippians 4 8. It is this innate inner freedom that we should be focused on, that we should be stewarding a thankful heart towards, being thankful for. And this is the kind of freedom that no one can take away from you. Governments can't take it from you. Death cannot take it from you. So yeah, yeah, we're living in a rad time of freedom. And I hope that you're able to see that. I love you guys. Drop your comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Subscribe, share our video. I love you so much, man. I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day.